In this tutorial, we will render a video with a high enough quality for uploading to YouTube. First of all, in After Effects, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the work area is trimmed to where you want your video to be. So my entire composition is 15 seconds long. Uh, I've only done work in eight seconds of it. So this little bar here by default is filled out to the very end. Click and drag that and crop your workspace down if you need to. And now we are ready to render our video out. So to render a video, to make it into an MP4 video ready for YouTube, you go up to composition, and then you go to add to media encoder queue. And uh, it will take a while to open up and to import this video into it. What this will do, it will open up an entirely new program alongside After Effects. So you have to wait for your video composition to appear in here. It may not be there at first, but just wait and it will be there. So the media encoder interface looks entirely different from After Effects. It might be a bit intimidating to start with. We need to make sure we choose the correct video format to render into. If you choose the wrong format, your video might be too huge and take too long to upload to YouTube and might not even be playable on a normal computer. So we need to make sure we know what's going on and what compression method we have. So the default compression method for media encoder is H.264. That's what we need. Next to that, we've got a preset. The default preset should be match source high bit rate. And to be honest, if you just went ahead and hit that green play button and rendered that, it would render it to this location and you would have a video that you could upload to YouTube. If you want to work out what exactly it's doing, then we need to click on the words match source high bit rate and it will bring up another window called export settings. And in here, we're able to tweak some of these settings and increase the quality if we need to as well. So format H.264, make sure that export audio is checked. Next to each of these settings is a little checkbox. And once that checkbox is checked, uh, things that you can change are actually grayed out and you can't change them. So if there's anything you want to change, uncheck that box and it will suddenly say custom up here, which is absolutely fine. So make sure your frame rate matches your video. Make sure it's HD 1080 or whatever you need to render at. The profile, uh, that's the first thing that I'll go ahead and change. I'll change that to high. I'm looking for the highest possible quality that we can really get for YouTube. So I'll change that to high by unchecking that box. Uh, we'll also change the level to 5.1. And then we'll also render at maximum depth. If you hover over most of these settings, Media Encoded will give you a little preview of what on earth is going on. So render at maximum depth, it says, will improve the video quality, but increase how long it will take to do it. Okay, once you've checked that, there's another thing we can do to make sure that we render the highest possible quality at the smallest possible file size. So bitrate encoding, by default, VBR 1 pass. If you choose VBR 2 pass, it will render the video forward and then render it again. And this time it will compress everything down even further, but without loss of quality. If anything, you will improve the quality. So VBR 2 pass. The next thing is the bit rate. This is really important and you need to be able to understand what values to type into here. Uh, YouTube officially recommends H.264 and if you go down to your bit rate, you can see that if you have a higher resolution video, you will need to have a higher bit rate. So for HD 1080, like I have here, it recommends a bit rate of 12 megabits per second. That's all it needs. And when you, even if you upload it and you've rendered something off that's maybe 50 megabits per second, it will compress it down to 12 on YouTube. So it can, I can see that it says 12 megabits per second. So target bit rate, I will increase to 12. And maximum, I would be tempted to increase that to up to 20 if I really had to. And that's pretty much as far as I would dare to push bit rates for YouTube or for playback on a computer for now. You can also see down here how much it's cropped your video. So remember I had a 15 second composition, but I only used eight seconds of that. This is those eight seconds and it will just render that. So again, you can drag your little time slider in here as well and see your video preview. And it says an estimated file size for an eight second video is 11 megabytes. So we can go ahead and hit OK. Make sure you choose a good location to output to and it's named correctly. Make sure you know where it's going to go. And then you're ready to render. Hit the green play button and you will have to sit here and wait for it to render. So you can, again, you can see a little video preview of it going through. You'll probably notice it will go through it twice as it renders the VBR2 pass. And once your render is complete, you can, you can just click on the output file here if you want, just so you can see where it is, and uh, go ahead and preview your video. Okay, 
and that's everything you need to know to render for YouTube.